Hear me, spirits, and rise to my call. Supreme Focus. Push through their defenses. Yo guys, what's going on? It's Willie P here. Today I'm excited to bring you my first video for this YouTube channel, which is my Season 8 Udyr Guide. Yes, yes, I know it's been in the works for a minute. I've told you a long time ago it was coming out, but uh, super, super excited to get this out here for you guys. So hopefully you can learn a thing or two about the God Ear. Now, if you don't know about me, I'm a high elo Udyr 1 trick. I peaked at Masters MMR in Season 7. And hopefully in Season 8, I'm going to take all three of my accounts and get them to Masters. I'm super excited for this upcoming season. Now, if you'd like to see me grind live for those uh, Masters accounts, make sure to head over to my Twitch channel, which is lol underscore Willie P, where I'll be hopefully grinding daily in order to make those uh, Masters accounts become a reality. But for today, I'm just going to give you my uh, basic rundown of Udyr. I'm going to talk a thing about things like abilities, runes, matchups, early versus late game. I'm not going to go too in-depth as, as I feel like I could literally ramble on and on about Udyr for like 8 hours. I know a lot about the champion, guys. So definitely stick around if you want to learn a thing about how to play Udyr this season. Um, but just super, super excited. Let's, uh, I guess let's just go ahead and hop on in. So first section here will be abilities. Alright guys, so for abilities, you're going to want to be playing Tiger Udyr this season. Reason being is Tiger Udyr is just way stronger than Phoenix Udyr. Can you still play Phoenix Udyr? Absolutely. Is it still a really good tank for your team? Absolutely. Is it really, really good at clearing once you get three points in Phoenix? Absolutely. But Tiger is just way stronger than Phoenix right now. And like, if, if you're trying to carry your games, Tiger Udyr has always been better than Phoenix Udyr in my opinion. So definitely, definitely stick with Tiger Udyr this season. For those of you that are unfamiliar with Udyr, this means you will be maxing your Q first and preferably your bear second. I see a lot of people max your turtle second and let's be honest, I, I, I just think turtle is the weakest ability right now in Udyr. It just doesn't do a whole lot. Ever since they removed lifesteal from it, it's just kind of meh. Like it just doesn't do anything for you besides give you a really low shield. But um, like I said, you'll be maxing bear second. This will give you a lot of movement speed, allowing you to catch up and kill those squishy targets that generally have range on you. So you're going to have to avoid kiting. Um, but abilities are pretty straightforward this season. Max Q first with E second. All right, guys. So since we got abilities out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about runes real fast. Now, before we go any further, I want to talk about Udyr as a champion. The reason Udyr, basically what gives Udyr his identity is the fact that he can be played many, many different ways. You can play him full lethality, you can play him with uh, full tank, with aftershock, things like this. You know, with this being said, no one rune page will fit your Udyr playstyle best. But if you want to play my version of Udyr this season, which is Tiger Udyr, this rune page right here is the best setup. Yes, you can run other rune pages with Tiger Udyr. Yes, you can experiment and mix things around. But for me, I think this is the best rune setup. So definitely run this if you're going to be playing the uh, version of Udyr seen in this video. The reason being is taking Precision Tree as your primary tree gives you an insane amount of attack speed, which takes Udyr's clear speed from A tier to God tier. Really and truly, Nidalee is the only other jungle in the game that can match Udyr's clear speed with this rune setup. And let's be honest, 90% of Nidalees are just hot garbage. So you are A-OK, -okay, meaning 
Udyr will probably have the highest clear speed in the game with this rune setup. Another reason you take this rune setup is for press the attack. Press the attack is just broken with Udyr. I don't feel like I need to describe it. If you guys have played it all in the preseason, you know what I'm talking about. Press the attack is just insanely strong. And it also scales really well with Tiger in the sense that just like Tiger Stance, press the attack scales off of every third auto attack. So that means every third auto attack with Udyr will do an insane amount of damage. Um, but beyond this, you're going to want to take Triumph with Legend Alacrity and uh, Coupe de Gras. It's just the best setup. For your secondary tree, like I said, you can experiment out with a lot of different things. But for me, I take Sorcery with uh, Celerity and Water Walking. Reason being is I think that uh, movement speed is just crucial on Udyr. You just absolutely need it. So these two runes are a must for me. So definitely snag this rune setup if you want to play my version of Tiger Udyr. Moving on from runes, let's go ahead and talk about build pass real fast. Now, as mentioned before, there are dozens of different ways in which you can build Udyr. So needless to say, this next section is going to be highly personalized. This is the build path that I go whenever I play Tagger Udyr at high elo. So you're always going to want to start uh, Machete with a uh, refillable potion. Reason being is you're going to want refillable potion to get the early duels off on the enemy jungler. Um, I know a lot of people like to start Anal Bead to build it into Tiamat. I think Tiamat is a waste of 1,200 gold, honestly. Like, Udyr doesn't need help clearing his jungle. Tiamat is only, only good for, like, minutes 3 through 6 of the game. And then after that, it's just a waste of 1,200 gold. So I... I almost always skip Tiamat. I know a lot of people are going to get, you know, a little butt hurt by that, but I think Tiamat is just not a good item on Udyr. So, with that being said, you're going to want to start Machete and Refillable. You're going to want to build your Warrior Enchant as fast as possible. Now, for Blue Smite versus Red Smite, it's ultimately up to you. Honestly, both are viable on Udyr. But if uh, the, the rule of thumb that I have is if the enemy team has a lot of ranged champions, meaning they have a lot of champions that can kite you, you're going to want to go Blue Smite. They have a lot of melee champions or champions that don't have a lot of escapes. Red Smite is better. Um, like I said, Blue Smite versus Red Smite is entirely up to you. But once you get uh, your Blue Smite or Red Smite, definitely go ahead and finish your Warrior Enchant. You want your Warrior Enchant as early in the game as possible because it just gives you an insane amount of attack damage for its gold cost. You will literally be one-shotting anybody in the mid game. It is just, you just rush this item immediately. Now past that, you're going to want to finish your boots. So you're either want to go Merc Treads or Ninja Tabbies depending on the, on the game. Uh, personally, I always prefer going Ninja Tabbies over Merc Treads. Yes, I know Tenacity is good on Udyr, but like, I, I don't know, Ninja Tabbies are just broken. Like 10% or, it's either 8% or 10% reduced damage from all basic attacks. Like, the ADC is just fucked if you buy this item. So definitely finish your boots after you get your Warrior. From here, you're either going to want to go Triforce or Sterax. Um, it, ultimately, it's up to you. I personally go Triforce first. It's a lot greedier to go Triforce because you're really, really squishy for the mid game. But um, I don't know. Triforce is just the best damage item on Udyr in terms of like gold efficiency. It's just insanely well. Gives you everything you need. Gives you the Sheen proc. Gives you attack speed. Gives you movement speed from the Phage passive. Um, just definitely pick up your Triforce. After this, I generally go a tank item. This either means MR or armor depending on the enemy team. All of this is situational, so like if the enemy team has a shit ton of magic abusers, then go ahead and snag MR. Whereas if they've got a lot of attack damage, go ahead and grab an armor item. And then what what, what does that make it? Your fourth item, you're gonna want to go Sterex, fourth or fifth item, I can't even remember. I can't count to five guys. But you're gonna want to go Sterex past this, and then beyond that, you're just gonna want to go full tank. Um, situationally, of course, just fitting whatever the enemy team has. Uh, but this, this, in my opinion, is the best build path for Udyr. Yes, you can do a lot of different things. Yes, you can throw in a Titanic Hydra if you're snowballing. Um, but if you watch me live at my Twitch stream, you'll see I try out a lot of different build paths because ultimately there are just so many different ways to build Udyr. But this build path in particular is my favorite build path, and I think this is the best build path for Tiger Udyr. Now that we got build pass out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about Udyr's playstyle. Now this will be the last part of the video here because I feel like as a whole, Udyr just can be played so many different ways. So I'm going to offer you my input as someone who's climbed a pretty high elo with Udyr, how you're supposed to play him. Now, the biggest comparison I can give to you is, think of Draven. If Draven were a jungler, it would be Udyr. And what I mean by that is, if you pick to Udyr and you go Tiger Udyr, your job is to bully the enemy jungler. You are supposed to invade early on, you are supposed to uh, constantly put pressure on the enemy jungle, prevent him from farming, get deep wards, keep track of the enemy jungler, and basically shut the enemy jungler down. 
Um, Udyr's level 1 through 5 is one of the strongest champions in the game. It is extremely, extremely hard for just about every jungler in the game to deal with Udyr. Um, I would say the only junglers you do not want to invade would be Rek'Sai, Nidalee, and a good Kindred. Everybody else is free game, meaning you should have no problem bullying everybody, every other jungler in the game, levels 1 through 5. Also Warwick. Fuck Warwick. Warwick is really, really hard, and unless you know the matchup really well, you will not be able to beat him in a 1v1. But everybody else is free game, so always, always, you don't necessarily have to invade, but just try and track the enemy jungler as hard as you can. Try and deny CS, try and deny jungle camps, and just counter gank it counter gank or a gank very very aggressively early on udir if, if if the enemy laners overextend then basically it's a it's a free kill udir is extremely extremely good if you get a flank off just because you do a ridiculous amount of damage in those early levels now as you transition into the late game this is where playing udir gets really hard and honestly it's the toughest part about playing udir just like draven playing udir in the late game is extremely extremely difficult Reason being is Udyr does just brings nothing to team fights. All he has is his one second stun, and at that point in the game, a one second stun that requires Udyr to be on top of the target is just useless. Um, the only thing it's good for is peeling ADCs, which leads me into basically the two ways you can play Udyr in the late game. The first way is the team fight way. So what I mean by this is you are choosing intentionally to group with your team. You A lot of the times if you're behind, you have to do this to prevent the enemy team from diving, things like this. So if you're going to play Udyr the team fight, with a team fight focus, you have to peel your ADC. Udyr cannot engage on the enemy team, but he is extremely, extremely good at peeling that, your uh, ADC. Just because of that one second stun can make a world of difference in keeping your ADC alive. He's also really good against most frontliners, as most frontliners are melee, and Udyr is extremely good at dueling melee champions. Now, that's the first big way you can play Udyr in the late game. The other big way is you can play the Trick 2G play style, which is just split push over and over and just try and backdoor as often as possible. Um, there's a reason why Trick 2G split pushes at high elo. Yes, I know it's entertaining, but the reason you split push with Udyr at high elo is because he is useless in team fights. By creating pressure on the map, you can you can do more for your team than if you were just in a team fight scenario. So that really is the only two. Those are the only two ways to play Udyr, in my opinion. Late game is either peel ADC or just split push. Now, I think that just about wraps up everything I want to talk about Udyr. This is a really, I think this is a pretty solid guide for Season 8 on how to play him. Play Tiger Udyr, bully the enemy jungle early, take my rune setup, take my build path. I think these are just the best runes and builds for Udyr right now. Um, but beyond that, I just, I, I feel like this just is about all I want to say. So as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not kidding you i literally had to teach myself how to use photoshop how to edit just to make this video i probably had to delete this video like three times just because i'm an i'm an idiot guys like there's so many things i had to learn in order to put this video out but um like comment and subscribe really does help really does mean a lot and um yeah so willie's out and i'll catch you on the rift boys god that's cheesy sorry but uh catch y'all later